So I'm excited to talk to you today about postage. Exciting topic, isn't it? Um, but I know that we want to be the most efficient that we can be in our business. So I want to share with you a couple of tips about mailing packages from your office using the customer delivery service program. So right now we have a special rate on the customer delivery service program, depending when you're watching this video. And those rates are very, very reasonable. As much as possible, I recommend to use them um, because they come from the company. The company can help us to track them and search them and all of those things. And shipping rates have recently just gone up from the US Post Office. But there are times that we have the items in our inventory. We cannot ship it directly from the company. They're were limited edition and they're sold out, but now we have them, which is a blessing that we have the opportunity to have inventory and have product available and be able to get it to our clients with what, um, what it is that they want. So when you are shipping from home, I'm going to cover oh, one other thing on customer delivery service program is um, we just learned this little tip, mark it as a gift and they get an extra little package and some extra little bonuses in there. So mark them as a gift and people get extra stuff. How cool is that? I love this company. They are just amazing. So, but if you are mailing from your office, there are a couple things that you can do to make it a little bit more reasonable. Um, even if you're mailing products and packages, you can use bubble mailers. I forgot to bring one of those upstairs, but you all know probably what a padded envelope or a bubble mailer looks like. You can order them on Amazon, or if you just need a few, you can pick them up at like the Dollar Tree. Um, and if you're gonna mail from home and you wanna save postage, not going to the post office, you can use something called pirate ship, as in pirate ship, uh, um, you know, ahoy maybe, um, but it is pirate ship, um, all one word, pirateship.com. It is a free service. They buy into like a bulk mailing service and they um, have a website where you can ship through that mailing service. And um, you set up your home address. You then put in what type of package. Now this is only good for packages, not parcels. Is that the word I want? Is that the difference I want? Not letters, not flat envelopes. It's only good for packages. It's only useful for packages. And so if you were to mail out a package in a bubble mailer or a small box, you can use pirateship.com. You need like a kitchen scale. Like I got this $11 on Amazon. And what I do is um, you can put in the address. You then weigh the package as exactly as you're going to mail it with all the samplers and in the envelope and all of those things. You weigh the package onto this scale and um, then you can print out a label. Next tip I just learned thanks to one of our fabulous team members is the um, there are labels that come exactly the size of the label that it would print from your computer. They are two half sheet labels and you can order those on amazon.com um, and be able to, amazon.com, who says that? Anyhow, be able to just peel it off and put it right onto your package. Super easy. I was taping them on prior to that. It's so easy. It saves so much time. And so if you want to mail packages from your office, there is a great tip and a great way to do it. Um, super simple, but it does save some money. The rates from pirate ship are at bulk rates. So they're a little bit less. They will, you can put it out in your mailbox to go out that day. You can request a package pickup if it doesn't fit into your mailbox. I have not done that. I know others have, um, but then I believe you just request the package pickup and you put it by your front porch and they will come and pick it up. Um, or of course, I, you also can drive them and drop them off at the post office. They're all ready to go. You can just drop them off. Um, if you want a receipt from the post office, you could do that. But every one of those shipments gets a tracking number so you can track them and know exactly where they are, just like you could with the customer delivery service. So that is mailing out packages, bubble mailers, small boxes, kitchen scale, right? Okay. And pirateship.com, P-I-R-A-T-E, ship.com. Um, and then the next tip I want to share with you is regarding some of the little sampler packets. How do we mail these little sampler packets? What does that need to look like? So I recently learned a couple things and I wanted to pass it on and share it with you. So we, a lot of us are using these um, mailers. You do need to get the correct size from my girlfriend's house, but I just learned that there is an upcharge when you're using the plastic. Okay, so there's a 15 cent upcharge if you're using the plastic envelopes to mail, but they do fit rather nicely. They fit our, if you get any of the sampler cards from um, NK Connections, they fit right in here. You could even go one size smaller than the size that I have. Um, 
on that, but it's it's like a half sheet size or a little bit smaller than that. It fits the lookbook or the beauty book. Um, you could order the beauty book size and then it's definitely within guidelines. But um, with this, what you wanna do is take your TimeWise packet, fold it flat. If you're going to put any other samplers in there with it, kind of want to line them up as best as possible, okay, so that they are as flat as possible. Um, spread them out in the envelope and maybe even tape them down so they kind of stay flat. And you can literally just put a label on the back and mail this out, but know that there is a surcharge. The key with these is that they need to be flat enough to fit through. If you've gone to the post office and you've ever had an envelope that's a little thick, they pull out like a measuring board. It has to fit through that slot. If it does not, then it gets weighed differently, okay? So you want it to fit through that slot. But one other tip that makes these packages work and not get smashed as much um, in the machine and things like that is that you would want to um, you want to mark them with a non-machinable stamp. So you can order them from the USPS.com and have them delivered to your mailbox or go to the post office and ask for non-machinable stamps and order as many of those as you want to. They value at 70 cents each. And um, so if you are doing this without a beauty book and like one sample or this and a, a one card or a light note paper in there and you're mailing that out um, in, in the plastic, um, in the plastic, it would take two, two of those stamps just to be certain, okay? So I've been mailing these out with two of those stamps, but that's $1.40. So I'm not putting my samplers into bubble mailers. I'm putting them into these plastics. But the other thing I did just learn from the post office is order larger, you know, a little bit more durable um, invitation size cards. This is not quite, this would be um, a half sheet of paper folded portrait, portrait, you know, if you had a portrait sheet of paper, you know, like this, and then you fold it in half. That's what size this envelope is, okay? And um, so you can go get the order those. You can put your samplers inside the envelope, keep them flat. Again, make sure they're as flat as possible as you're, you know, as you're putting them in there, spacing them out. Um, once you get them in line in there, they should stay pretty good. I wouldn't put them inside a heavy card. I would maybe just have a piece of paper that you could put inside there with it. Maybe the piece of card stock would be a great idea. Um, or if you have these cards, you can use those. If not, um, you know, just a piece of card stock to give it a little bit of weight. You could put a beauty book, but that will make it thicker and you would want to double check if it goes through the slot. You could also put like a set sheet, um, you know, print out one of the set sheets um, that shows the different specials that are available that you might use in your Facebook or Zoom party, and you can be able to um, include that set sheet. You can include the team building information from the company, you know, some of those different pieces. Um, but depending how much literature you have in here, this would be one to two non-machinable stamps. And again, that's your difference. Then it won't go through the machine and it won't get smashed as much um, and things. But this would be, this would not have the 15 cent up charge that the plastic would. I do think the plastic can look a little bit cuter, but I also think we can get, you know, make these look really nice um, just with the contents and what we put inside. But remember, the key is to keep it as flat as possible with those samplers inside. You can see how flat that is, even with the TimeWise sampler inside. Um, and that way you're not spending two to three dollars a package to mail them. If you are putting a few more, you probably could still put a microderm sample in there, uh, but not like a, not a mascara, not a, you know, not a lipstick bubbler that may not work um, and if you're unsure and want to check that go into the post office like one time take that with them and see how flat that is but this is what my post office has advised me um, works what those prices are so the larger packages like this in the plastic are two non-machinables these would be one to two based on their weight if they're under an ounce they can be one stamp if they are over an ounce they are two and again it's 70 cents to me I would put two stamps on here so I know it has enough postage and it should go, but that's two of the non-machinable stamps. So if you have questions, um, when I post this, I'm gonna have to come back and answer those, um, but I wanted to put this together to share just some really great tips with you so that you can be saving money on your shipping and yet being able to offer samplers to your clients and how to get those out to them in the most efficient way. Have a blessed day.